the UE System Steam Trap app found in the uh, iOS App Store and Android uh, Google Play Store. It's a great way to, while you're out in the field, run down your assets or your steam traps to show which ones are leaking and actually give a uh, you know a dollar amount for energy conservation. Um, but uh, just tap the UE System Steam Trap app and then hit begin. And I've already got some numbers in here plugged in for us uh, so that we can quickly move through it. But the, type in your inlet, outlet temps, orifice size. Uh, you have a, a, a couple of different options here of the sizes. Uh, if you don't know what size you would like, typically people like to go with one eighth of an inch. It uh, yields on the conservation side and is one of the more common uh, orifice sizes. Uh, and here, right here, test results. Um, you can pick from okay, leaking, blow through, plugged, uh, size issue, or not in service. Um, and then manufacturer type, we've got some pre uh, preloaded in here for you. Uh, steam trap type, uh, floating thermostatic, inverted bucket, uh, no entry, thermo thermodynamic disc trap, or thermostatic trap. Uh, model number, that's just uh, gives you information on uh, you know where what model your steam trap is. And as far as application, uh, air handler, heat exchanger, and that sort of thing. Uh, right here, you can adjust your system pressure, type in comments of where you're actually at, your location, any other uh, comments that you might need, uh, such as you know where the steam trap is located to help you identify that out in the field. And then we also have a spot for the upstream DB, outlet DB, and downstream DB. Uh, and also, you can take a picture of the trap and when you're done with the number one, just go through number two and do the same thing. Three, four, and I think I have five in here for us. When you're done, hit the three dots at the top and then hit generate report. And what it'll do is uh, give you a spot where you can name the actual report. We'll just do uh, steam trap one 2020 generate a report and type in name your email address and send it off. And that's how to do that uh, report. Uh, other settings that we have in here, uh, obviously you can clear the data, come into your settings and actually uh, put in the cost of the actual steam itself. Uh, you can do this in Excel uh, in the spreadsheet um, once you open it up out of your email, uh, but this gives you a way to, to actually do this within the app. And we also have um, oh, the welcome screen List maintenance, this is kind of uh, like giving you parental controls where you can turn on and off uh, your various data points. So say if uh, you know you're not gonna have a 7 8 pipe, well, you don't have to check that one or any of the other size pipes. You can uh, just have the ones that would be pertinent for your report. And then the about just tells you what version number.